April 9th, Dixon County Commission, please stand. It's like salute. Like. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Approval agenda with uh, two items to be added. Uh, consider applying for the community development block grant fund for handicap accessibility and consider purchase of used truck uh, for the road and bridge department. I move we approve the agenda. Second. Been moved and second. Any other discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Uh, consent agenda minutes of the April 2nd work session and regular meeting. Payroll of $255,869.21. Fund expenditures of $215,342.87. And abatement of $15,563.36. I move to approve the consent agenda. Second. Been moved and second. Any other discussion? If not, uh, well, Craig, I, I did think of something. Uh, I see there's still payment to Cooper Clean. Is that the last payment for them? Craig just asked me that, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, it's always a month or two behind. Yeah, I, I asked that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. It was just a test to make sure you do what you have to say. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry I didn't get in here to get that information. <laughs> Yeah, I heard the discussion on that. So, <laughs> Lynn, any uh, commissioner comments from committee reports? I uh, really don't have anything. I, I, Central Kansas Mental Health Board is going to be meeting here, I think, uh, next week. That's about it. Lauren. Yeah, uh, like I say, down at the uh, food and clothing pantry, they did get the addition to their. Uh, room down there by adding that room next to that comes off the street so <clears throat> I think it'd be much more convenient for the for moving food in and out and also the people that are receiving food that they can uh, go out one door instead of having to go out three doors with so it, it will be much more convenient for them down there uh, we had the Department had a meeting this morning. Uh, good report from all those. Uh, Bruce, uh, our appraiser, was in. A uh, little discussion about some properties that were in the abatement and stuff. We had that. Uh, hopefully, everybody can have good weather for the Eisenhower Marathon on Saturday. I'll be attending a Economic Development Council meeting, community development meeting tonight in Chapman uh, at the city building. Uh, Doug, anything you have? Uh, we got the tax material in from uh, both title companies, so we'll begin to prepare that. We may be looking at a starting number of something close to 50, which is quite a few. Yeah. Mm. So we hopefully that will get part down. I don't have anything else. Thank you, Dad. Uh, no presentation of petitions, proclamations, or public comments. Uh, Brad, you want to give your report? Okay. Uh, I gave you, we discussed it before, but I gave you a, a printed copy of the proposal for professional services for working bridges in regards to the assessment up on the 3200 note bridge that you can have in review. Uh, on the 23rd, the meeting of the 23rd, Audrey Sheets and Clark Duffy will be here to, they'd like to be here to when you discuss that again. And, Looks like we'll make that one of our stops on the 22nd, unless you want to go up before then and look at it. So I'll get an opportunity to put eyes, eyes on it. So uh, you've got your year to date uh, budget reports. And on those, uh, not a lot of very areas other on the health department. You'll notice that we're showing uh, some negative numbers there. Uh, that's not totally unusual, but it's a little larger than what we would generally anticipate. 
And right now, we're, the reason for that is we're in, in a backlog on a number of uh, reimbursements. And that's due to the software. You know, we made that software change. And the software company has not yet got the bridge. John explained it a little bit downstairs. Gotten the bridge set up that goes to uh, the state for reimbursement. So right now, the gals are having to enter in the old system and the new system so we can get reimbursed. And it's just taking longer. We do have the bills. <coughs> excuse me. We do have the bills to submit to get reimbursed. We're just behind on that. And we're told by the software company that they're going to have that taken care of in the near future, and we're hoping to, uh, in the next month or two, that that will be, that will be done. So that's the reason behind that. Uh, I'm not alarmed at it. It will be taken care of, and hopefully we'll get that number back up where it should be. And then uh, on the sales tax, uh, we were up again, believe it or not, for uh, the January sales tax. We were at $112,158 which is about $13,000 higher than it was this time last year. So, and about $4,000, $4,800 uh, higher than it was last month. So, that continues to stay steady or, and even increase, which I'm really pleased with. So, uh, other than that, there, there really wasn't anything that I saw unless you have a question on anything. Everybody's, you know, budgets are staying right where I would expect them to be, so. I mentioned in the work in the work session or in the department head meeting a week ago uh, tomorrow we put our first uh, Dickinson County Most Wanted uh, post on the county website. We now have a, a page on the county website that's similar to the inmate search page, but this is actually for warrants. Uh, any warrants that are issued in Dickinson County District Court are on there. Uh, if you go to that page, you can see search and, and see everybody that has a warrant issued for them. We're actually picking one of those each day and putting it out as a one per daily wanted person on, on the county Facebook page. And since we've done that, we've seen our, our likes on the county Facebook page multiply by about five within a couple of days. So it's been a tremendous success, and every day we see a lot more uh, participation in that. Uh, and hopefully in the, in the near future we'll see some apprehensions due to that as well. So that's something that's been done in some other counties, and we kind of came up with the idea to help generate more contact with us on the Facebook page so that when we do put out a message that we need people to get immediately, whether it's a road closing or some other emergency message, that we'll have that many more people when we receive it, we will be in contact with it. So, so far it's been a great success. So, uh, The Sheriff's Department arranged an extradition from Kansas City, Missouri uh, earlier this week. It would be, it's going to be a $325 fee from the diversion fund that they wanted to let you know about. We have uh, been contacted by the North Central Regional Planning Commission uh, asking if we are interested in participating in a community development block grant uh, that would be specifically for uh, handicap accessible residences and homes. Uh, it's strictly for individuals. Uh, and that, uh, we talked about that a little bit in the work session and you've got the paperwork on that. Uh, we would have to opt into that program if we are interested in doing that, the only cost in Dickinson County would be roughly a $1,500 to $2,500 fee for incidentals such as advertising expenses and things of that nature that need to be required or that are required. Uh, but other than that, any, there's no match to the grant and there's no other cost and it's all managed by uh, the Planning Commission. So currently Mitchell and Ottawa counties have opted in and uh, the Planning Commission has contacted all the other counties in our region, hoping to get more people, more counties involved so that they could have a better chance of being successful. Uh, I did see here, Brad, the only exception would be the cost of public hearing. That would be like uh, 1110, we'd have a public hearing to determine which units would be? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and I think what she's talking about is the advertisement. Uh, yeah, oh, I've seen her, but there, 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 yeah. there is one there for advertisement. Yeah. Uh, so. This will include all, I mean, advertising and economic, environmental review costs. There's an environmental review yeah, that would have right. to be done too, so yeah. But I'm trying to figure out what, you know, the public hearing if it's, would be really cost to us. Well, I guess you'd have to advertise it. Just, that, that would yeah. be it. So yeah. That's all I know about yeah. it. So, yeah. 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 so that, 
basically yeah. said they would need to know today yeah. that we're down to the wire if we want to participate in that. So uh, Martin had reported that our new crack sealer has arrived. Uh, they're going to be going out next Tuesday. Actually, they're going to go over to Solomon and do a couple test run on, runs on it uh, and uh, get everything adjusted before they actually go on one of our roads and, and uh, give it a run and see how things work. So. And then you, I provided you the uh, printout for the uh, truck that uh, Martin has located over Chuck Taylor Sales in Solomon uh, to a used truck to purchase for the road and bridge department. So that's all I've got. Funds are available in this? Yeah, he's got the funds. Uh, okay. It's in the capital outlay and in the machinery uh, okay. equipment fund. So it, it's been in the budget for the last two years to, yeah. to do a okay. truck, some type of a truck. And, and I think I told you last week that would replace one of the one tons we take out of service that they use now that's due to be rotated out. So. Any other questions for Brad? If not, notices communications. Um, did get an email from uh, Doug Caldwell uh, in the, uh, I'm going to call it the Wilson Bridge uh, up in 3200 and Oak Road. Uh, giving this to every, all the commissioners. Uh, we did get a flyer from the uh, extension, uh, financial conditions of trends in Dixon County. It came from the extension office. Uh, uh, also have a notice of a public hearing, public notice, I'm sorry, uh, wastewater treatment facility in Abilene. Mud Creek via storm sewer. What the location is? Uh, we all. I don't know if everybody got the. Uh, it was in my dealer with the clerk of district court monthly report. For fees and stuff, and then we have a budget summary of our uh, our <coughs> office. And then there was a Midwest Assistance Source Program uh, Community Solutions booklet, and then there is a. From the Kansas State, Kansas Historical Society, uh, City of Chapman, uh, dear Mr. Weiser, we are pleased to inform you that the Smoky Hill and Overland Dispatch segment will be considered by the Kansas Historical Site Board for review and nomination to the National Register of Historical Places and Register of Historic Kansas Places at our next meeting, uh, May 9th in uh, Topeka. Bob Roskins has been doing a lot of work on that. Uh, then got the notice of the meeting. And we got a GIS magazine, KS LTAP newsletter. Using GIS. That's all the Notice of communications. Craig, would, yeah, maybe you might want to mention, we had our department head meeting earlier today, but, but I thought the part that might be of interest was um, on Janelle and Brenda regarding the EDC, oh. just kind of where they're at. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead Lynn. Um, it, well, it, they, they received quite a few applications. And, and I don't recall the exact amount, oh. but they're going to do an 16, interview. 16. They're interviewing six next week. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the part I was looking for. Yeah, no. They have six people that are going to come in that they will conduct some interviews. Yeah. And so things are um, moving along on that as far as the timeline. And, um, you know, obviously they have quite a few excellent candidates to go ahead and choose to interview that many. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to thank Brenda for stepping in and intern part and just uh, doing a lot of things that 
<clears throat> that needs to be done and until they can get somebody hired. Thank you, William. Uh, introduction, considered resolutions, we have none, no unfinished business. And other business would be the consider the application for the community development block grant fund for handicap accessibility. Uh, Brad's kind of highlighted it all already. Uh, any other discussion? Or we have a motion to approve it. Well, it, it, it would sure be a big benefit for the, you know, if, if, there, if we could get some money for our county for that purpose. And I, I feel like, like I say, it's not going to be a, a very big cost to us compared to what the benefit could be for some people that really need some handicap the ramps built. Uh, that's mainly at their houses. Is that correct? That's correct. It would it would have a cap of twelve thousand five hundred per applicant or per <coughs> home, uh, but it would be for uh, individual homes only. Yeah. There'd be approximately a seventy-five thousand uh, dollar right cap per county that participates. Mm -hmm. So that would provide quite a number of projects if we had, you know, viable applicants. So I think it'd be a good thing early then. Right. Well, it's, uh, the letter has, keep, please keep in mind, if you opt in, there's no guarantee that the amount of funds will be spent on units in your county. Right. It's impossible to predict where it will be spent. The only thing is for sure is if we don't, opt, yeah. if we don't participate, we don't get anything. So. Yeah. I'll uh, make motion we uh, consider applying for, the, or comply for the Community Development Block Grants for the Handicap Accessibility. Second. And move to the second. Any other discussion? If not, all those favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, consider purchase of the used truck uh, from Henry Sales for a 2005 International uh, for the price of $32,850. Brad, did you mention that you thought there might be some items, um, add-ons that would be negotiable to put onto that, or is that just, I mean, it, how do you want this worded in the motion to well, not exceed? Well, I think the base or, price, and then we would, we would do what we could not negotiate for a couple of additional things. Yeah. We will end up needing them eventually, but if we were getting thrown in on it, we would certainly get yeah. it right. Okay, so just yeah. not to exceed the... Got a motion, Will? Um, you know, I don't have the report right in front of us. Uh, $32,850. Yeah. Well, I'll move that we uh, uh, authorize the purchase of, of a truck from Chuck Henry sales for $32,850. Second it. So moved in a second. Any other discussion? Yeah, I'll let uh, we, before you, when we were up there a little bit, uh, I, we talked about some additional stuff that we may be able to talk about this early on. Stuff we're going to need. It wasn't part of the quote, but hopefully we can negotiate them. Like any good used car deal, yeah. we want to get the most out of our dollars. Yeah, so. and, and, and like I said, if you do business with them once, you're more likely to come back. And, and yeah, we bought a number of vehicles yeah. from Chuck Henry, so they're good to work with. You know, it's fortunate, too, that um, it, it is a Dickinson County business, and um, so it's... Uh, you know, and the, this type of vehicle is hard to find, so it looks like it matches our needs. No other discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried.